Welcome aboard the Storybook Land Canal Boats. My name is Mask Gamer, and I will be your guide and captain aboard the Alice. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. While most people enter storybooks with a turn of a page, we're going to start ours by passing through Monstro, the very same whale who swallowed Pinocchio. Where one tale ends, another tale begins. Of course, our story starts with a once upon a time, but this one also starts with the big bad wolf whose cave is just to our left. He was always after those three little pigs, but luckily, they live across the way, just to our right in the houses of straw, sticks, and a 100% guaranteed wolf-proof brick. We're now taking a strange turn, for around this corner lies a quaint English village home to our boat's namesake, Alice. On one golden afternoon, she chased the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, down, down to Wonderland, where things became curiouser and curiouser. Just to our right is London Park, where Peter Pan and his friends flew to Neverland, where they never had to grow up. Straight ahead is Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment where a street rat named Aladdin stole the heart of Jasmine when they met in the marketplace. You may notice the twinkling lights above us. The very same lights, Aladdin and Jasmine flew over, sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride through the night sky to a whole new world. Speaking of new worlds, the Cave of Wonders is just ahead, home to the genie of the lamp. Whoever holds his lamp is granted three wishes. What will you wish for? Snow White's wish was for a place to get away from the evil queen. Her wish came true in the form of a little cottage off to our right, home to the Seven Dwarves. High above our boat to the left is Cinderella's castle. Once upon a time, she went to the royal ball, but when she did not return before midnight, her carriage turned into a pumpkin, which can still be seen on that very bridge today. If you look just to the left of our boat, you can see our giant patchwork quilt inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. Now, luckily for us, we type slash game rule plant decay false. Therefore, this is here permanently. Storybook Land is home to many classic characters, much like J. Thaddeus Toad from The Wind in the Willows, who may be staying at Toad Hall just up ahead. Straight ahead to our left lies the Chili Kingdom of Arendelle where the most famous catalog of characters in the modern time spend their days. 
Right up ahead is the village where a woodcutter named Geppetto wished upon a star for his puppet Pinocchio to become a real boy. When Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the whale named Monstro, his wish was granted by the Blue Fairy. Just under this bridge lies a story from under the sea. Prince Eric's palace lands itself on our starboard side, which is the right, where he met a little mermaid named Ariel. Well, folks, that's the end of this story. And if you enjoyed this cruise, my name is Mouska Gamer. And if you didn't, my name is Cast Member Flower Beep.